Fitbit Versa 3 is one of the most popular smartwatches for health and fitness tracking. It features a clean and easy to use interface. At a simple glance, Versa 3 might look pretty basic smartwatch, but that's not the case. I can assure you that the watch has a lot of hidden features as well. They are not hidden per se, but just not in the plain sight. Don't worry, I will point out all the features you should know in this Fitbit Versa 3 tips and tricks video. Starting off is the Fitbit Versa 3 shortcut feature, which allows you to quickly launch your favorite apps. There are two triggers for the shortcut functions. The first trigger is pressing and holding the touch sensitive button. The second way to trigger the shortcut is by quickly double pressing the button. And as soon as you will double tap, you will get four shortcuts on the screen. You can customize these shortcuts by opening settings, scrolling below and opening shortcuts option. Here you can customize which apps get opened with long press and also select shortcuts you are presented with when you quickly double press the button. One of the best things about Fitbit is that you can earn badges and compete with friends and family, check up on their health and fitness activities to get motivated. However, most of the time to do that you need to open the Fitbit app or log into a browser on your computer. That's why Fitbit released the leaderboard app that shows everyone's ranking right onto the watch. You can find the app in the gallery. Just install the app and you are good to go. If you have a cool photo of your loved ones or scenery, then you can use them as the Fitbit watch face. However, you would need to install an app for that. Just open the app gallery and install the photograph watch face. Once installed, tap on the settings option below. On the next screen, tap on the pick a background image option. Now select the photo you want to use as a watch face and this will set the picture as your watch face. Most smartwatches offer the ability to take blood oxygen reading on the smartwatches. So whenever you want, you can take SpO2 readings. However, that's not the case with Fitbit Versa 3. First and foremost, it only tracks SpO2 while you sleep. However, you can check the results for last night's sleep SpO2 levels using the SpO2 signature watch face. So download the SpO2 signature watch face, set it on your watch and go to sleep. You will find the watch face starting to show your blood oxygen levels on the screen next day. Using the watch face, you can also check your live heart rate, steps taken, stairs climbed and zone minutes by tapping on the center of the screen. Everyone leads their lifestyle differently and that's why everyone has different fitness goals. Fitbit understands that and that's why it allows you to set your own fitness goals. You can choose between steps, distance, calories, floors and active zone minutes as workout goals. I mean if you do a desk job then you are definitely not going to meet your step goals at the end of the day. But if you do sweat it out in the gym then change the main goals to active zone minutes. Fitbit Versa 3 comes with Alexa and Google Assistant built in. You can switch between the two quite easily and use AI that you use the most. To change the assistant, open Fitbit app, profile, Versa 3 and then open voice assistant. On the next screen, select the voice assistant you want to use. Not everyone is a born runner. You need to practice and build your stamina over time. And one of the best app for that is Couch to 5K Runner, better known as C to 5K. You will find it in the app gallery. Using it, you can slowly train yourself to build your running endurance over time. This app skips a training plan that would help in creating the endurance that is required for running in 9 weeks. After the training will be over, you will either be able to run for 30 minutes continuously or run 5 kilometers. Always on display can be irritating at times and if you agree then the next tip is for you. To disable the feature, swipe from left to right to access the always on display toggle. Now tap on it to turn off the display. If you want to disable wave to gesture as well then you can do that as well by using this toggle next to display toggle. Once you disable the raise to wake gesture, the only way to turn on the display will be done by pressing the button. So guys, that was my Fitbit Versa 3 tips and tricks video. What are your thoughts and did you find the video to be useful? Do share your favorite tips for the watch in the comment section down below. Also don't forget to press that like and subscribe button to support our channel.